This is the first setup and it produces a very nice sine wave. And when we get to the trainer, you'll see that I've got a lot more parts on the trainer and here they are. And that's because I'm going to immediately switch from the 500 to the 2000 ohm load resistor to see what happens to that signal. But to start off, the total bias resistor of V1 and V2 is 75.1K and the total for bias resistor B3 is 24.6K and we'll be changing those also. Here's the original setup and now I'm going to move the load resistor from 500 ohms to 2000 ohms and that doesn't look real good and might be a little difficult to try and adjust here. Uh, it's getting there. Okay, but notice the bias. Okay, let's go to the 100 ohm. There we go. See if we can't get that signal up a little bit. There we go. Well, with 100 ohms, it's going to be rather low signal. Let me get this back to the original. Okay. Oops, wrong way. Okay, that's just about where we were. It's a little different, of course. Okay, now I'm going to change the signal resistors. Here's the 220 ohm microfarad. And it looks like it's clipped a little bit. Normally you wouldn't use a electrolytic at that point uh, mainly because it'll still do the job but uh, usually it costs a little bit more there's our original and here's the dot zero zero one now that's low but look what happens when I increase the frequency that would work at a much higher frequency but we're looking for audio and let's see what happens when I take out the capacitor altogether. Okay, now the reason for this is we don't have any capacitor in there and the coil itself is actually shorting it out. It's only seven and a half ohms. Okay, let me go back to the original. Now let me short out the emitter resistor. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if we'll be able to adjust anything in here or not. It's very touchy. Wow. And might make a nice square wave out of this but making a sine wave might not happen here 
and it all has to do with biasing that resistor or transistor correctly. Let's see here. Wow. Let me unshort that resistor. There we go. Let's see here. There we go. Take a little bit more time. I can get that back where we were. That's pretty close. So as you can see, everything in the circuit really has an effect throughout the circuit. When I want to build an amplifier, I first decide what the load is going to be and then I look for examples of amplifiers using that type of load. Thanks for watching.